can. Um, just wanted to make a little video tour of my fish room so you can kind of see how my setup is like. Um, yeah, kind of cool. Hopefully it gives you some ideas for how you want to set up your fish room. And uh, it's kind of fun for me to share it as well. So, let's hop to it. So over here is where most of my spawning occurs. Um, even though I do have jars of bettas, as you can see. This four gallon square tank is a bunch of betta vertigala. I'm pretty excited about this species. Um, they're very prolific. Uh, as soon as I move the smaragdina out of the 20 gallon, I'm gonna put um, all the juveniles into that tank so that they can grow out more. Um, I have no idea how many are in there. Um, down here is a 10 gallon spawn tank with some three week old bettas and their dad. Dad's being really good uh, about taking care of his fry. Um, down here, the very exciting empty spawn tank doesn't happen very often. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do a spawn right after the CBS show. Um, that's in a week. Wow. And then here's a 16 gallon planted tank that also acts as a grow out, also as a community tank for pleasure. Um, got a couple of stir by Cory, some Gertrude Eye Rainbows, and one little crown tail double tail runt that's still growing. For some reason, the crown tail double tails seem to grow very slowly compared to their other siblings. These are hooked up to one central pump, which I have wrapped in a towel back there. You can see I have a mess of tubes and uh, gang valves that redirect the air to all the filters on all of these tanks. Come on, buddy. There we go. Happy boys. So pretty excited about that guy. We'll see what he does in the classes. Also this female, traditional placot pineapple female. See, she's got the one eddy spread with only primary branching. Pretty nice girl. Very happy with these recent spawn results. Over here are what I like to call my bedside bettas. Um, so I have 30 jars in total of uh, bettas. Um, they're all on these flex watt heat mats. Um, and I got 10 up here, eight down here, there's three more down there. Um, do I have 30 jars? I don't even know. So I tend to keep the wilds down on the bottom shelf so it's a little darker and they feel more secure. The domestics don't care. In fact, they really enjoy the interaction that they get when they're up here. They're about eye level and every time they see me, they're like, ah, food. Um, so it's great. Uh, this shelf um, is very handy. Here's my 30 gallon grow out. It's got around 40 yellows in it right now. Plus some uh, cockatoo cichlids. Hey there. Then here's my 20 gallon, which currently has Lots and lots of hungry smaragdinas here. Very hungry smaragdina. <laughs> Little babies though, still. Hatchery in the window. So I have two dishes. Those are able to accommodate mostly all. Over here, I have some um, a five gallon planted tank and a two and a half gallon planted tank. This one currently contains a pair of Smardina females. Um, not sure what's going to go into it after they leave. Uh, kind of excited about that too. And then in here is a breeding colony of two point. Uh, oh, a breeding colony of Illasoma um, Everglade. It's kind of a new species. It's not the normal Everglade. It's um, let's see. Currently, Illasoma species of Finis Everglade. So something like Everglade. Um, collected by John Boylan and then I got them at the auction. So they're pretty fun little sunfish. Yeah. 